Chapter 5 Minerals and Energy Resources Minerals Everywhere We use different things in our daily life made from metal. Can you list the number of items used in your house made of metals? Where do these metals come from? Well, this chapter will definitely answer that. You have studied that the earth's crust is made up of different minerals embedded in the rocks. Various metals are extracted from these minerals after proper refinement. Minerals are an indispensable part of our lives. Almost everything we use, from a tiny pin to a towering building or a big ship, all are made from minerals. The railway lines and the tarmac, that is paving off the roads, our implements and machinery too are made from minerals. Cars, buses, trains, aeroplanes are manufactured from minerals and run on power resources derived from the earth. Even the food we eat contains minerals. In all stages of development, Human beings have used mineral for their livelihood, decoration, festivities, religious and ceremonial rites. A bright smile from toothpaste and minerals. Toothpaste cleans our teeth, that I am sure you all know. Abrasive minerals like silica, limestone, aluminium oxide and various phosphate minerals do the cleaning. Fluoride, which is used to reduce cavities, comes from a mineral fluoride. Most toothpaste are made white with titanium oxide, which comes from minerals called rutile, ilmenite, Anesthese. The sparkle in some toothpaste comes from mica. The toothbrush and tube containing the paste are made of plastics from petroleum. Well, now you know your toothpaste very well. What is a mineral? Geologists define mineral as a homogeneous, naturally occurring substance with a definable internal structure. Minerals are found in varied forms in nature, ranging from the hardest diamond to the softest talc. Why are they so varied? Well, let's find out. You have already learnt about rocks. Rocks are combination of homogeneous substances called minerals. Some rocks, for instance limestone, consist of a single mineral only. But majority of the rock consists of several minerals in varying proportions. Although over 2000 minerals have been identified, only a few are abundantly found in most of the rocks. A particular mineral that will be formed from a certain combination of elements depend upon the physical and chemical conditions under which the material forms. This, in turn, results in a wide range of colors, hardness, crystal forms, luster and density 
that a particular mineral possesses. Geologists use these properties to classify the minerals. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मिनरल्स फॉर जनरल एंड कमर्शियल पर्पसेस मिनरल्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज मेटेलिक नॉन मेटेलिक एनर्जी मिनरल्स फर्दर Metallic minerals can be classified as ferrous, non-ferrous, precious. Now ferrous means containing iron. For example, iron ore, manganese, nickel, cobalt, etc. Non-ferrous can be copper, lead, tin, bauxite. etc and precious can be gold silver platinum etc now non metallic minerals are mica salt potash sulfur granite limestone marble sandstone etc Energy minerals can be coal, petroleum, natural gas. Mode of occurrence of minerals. Where are these minerals found? Minerals are usually found in ores. The term ore is used to describe an accumulation of any mineral mixed with other elements the mineral content of the ore must be in sufficient concentration to make its extraction commercially viable the type of formation or structure in which they are found determines the relative ease with which mineral ores may be mined This also determines the cost of extraction. It is therefore important for us to understand the main types of formations in which minerals occur. Forms of minerals. Minerals generally occur in these forms. Number 1 In igneous and metamorphic rocks minerals may occur in the cracks crevices faults or joints The smaller occurrences are called veins and the larger are called lodes In most cases they are formed when minerals in liquid or molten and gaseous forms are forced upward through cavities towards the earth surface they cool and solidify as they rise major metallic minerals like tin copper zinc and lead etc are obtained from veins and lodes अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें इन सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स अ नंबर ऑफ मिनरल्स अकर इन बेड्स और लेयर्स दे हैव बीन फॉर्मड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ डिपोजिशन अक्यूमुलेशन एंड कंसंट्रेशन इन हॉरिजॉन्टल स्ट्रेटा coal and some forms of iron ore have been concentrated as a result of long periods under great heat and pressure another group of sedimentary minerals include gypsum potash salt and sodium salt 
They are formed as a result of evaporation, especially in arid regions. Another mode of formation involves the decomposition of surface rocks and the removal of soluble constituents, leaving a residual mass of withered material containing ores. Bauxite is formed this way. Certain minerals may occur as alluvial deposits in sands of valley floors and the base of hills. These deposits are called placer deposits and generally contain minerals which are not corroded by water. Gold, silver, tin and platinum are most important among such minerals. The ocean water contains vast quantities of minerals but most of these are too widely diffused to be of economic significance. However, common salt, magnesium and bromine are largely derived from ocean waters. The ocean beds too are enriched in manganese nodules. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें